Here we go with an incomplete review of Unit C, Newton's Laws of Motion. Okay, again, you want to stop and pause every once in a while to see if you can get the answers. Okay, so we have a 2 kilogram, a 4 kilogram, say on a frictionless surface, no friction here. We pull with 12 newtons. What will be the force of tension? Go ahead and pause. Okay, we're back. Okay, so you first have to find the acceleration. So the acceleration is going to be, um, we have a net force of 12 newtons, trying to accelerate 6 kilograms. So the acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. Now we will just look at the 2 kilogram one, or we could look at the 4. Let's just look at the 2. Then the only force acting on the 2, well, the net force is FT. So just looking at the 2 then, coming down here, just looking at the 2, we have the acceleration is 2 meters per second squared is equal to FT, because that's the only force on this guy, all over just 2 kilograms. So I'm getting FT is 4 newtons, 4 newtons when you solve for that. All right, let's go on to the next one. Now there is friction. We'll put in um, a coefficient of friction of 0.1. You pull with 18 newtons over here. What will be the force of tension between the string or in the, in the string that connects these two? Go ahead and pause. Okay, we're back. Okay, so um, again, uh, we got to find, we look at the whole system. There's 20 newtons down. So the normal force is 20 newtons up. And then there's um, 40 newtons down. So this normal force is 40 newtons up. You need to do that to get the frictional force. So the frictional force is going to be mu k times the normal force. So that's going to be 0.1 times 20, which I think gives you 2 newtons on this guy. And then there'll be 4 newtons on this guy. So trying to simplify this a little bit, the total acceleration will be um, 18 newtons to the right. Put some units on that. Minus, um, it looks like there's 6 newtons to the left all over the total mass, which is six kilograms. So that's, um, A is again, two meters per second squared. Isn't that nice how that works out? Yeah, two, yeah, two meters per second squared. Now let's go find the tension. We'll just, again, circle maybe just the two kilogram one. We could do the four, but we'll just do the two. Now be careful here. I'm gonna say A equals now, there's a tension this way, but then there's a 2 newton force of friction the other way, all over um, 2 kilograms, because we're only focusing, we're tunnel visioning on this guy. And so um, bring a 4 up, the, the 2 times the 2 meters per second squared will give us 4, so that means the force of tension is 6 newtons. All right, moving right along. Okay, we have a frictionless surface here. And I want to know um, what the acceleration of the system and the tension in the wire is going to be if that's 9 kilograms and 1 kilogram. This is frictionless. Go ahead and pause and try and figure it out yourself. Okay, we're back. Let's find the acceleration. If we straighten this out, we have 90 newtons down here. But the table's pushing with 90 newtons up. Here we have um, 10 newtons down. There's a tension force, but that's being canceled out by this tension force. If we look at the whole system, this is being the whole system. So A of the whole system is equal to the net force. It looks like we just have 10 newtons on it, divided by 10 kilograms. Got to look, got to use the whole mass. So that's one meter per second squared. Um, I could use this to get the tension. I could use this guy, but let me use this one just to show you that you can use either one. So the tension, if I just look at this guy now, the tension is going to be, let's see, A equals the net force. Now the 10 is winning, so it's 10 newtons minus FT all over the mass, one kilogram. 
So it looks like the tension force is going to be 1, that would be 1 Newton. So this should be 9 Newtons. You might try and get the other one and show yourself that that's also 9 if you go that route. Moving right along. Okay, let's, let's add a little friction in here. So here's the friction. Uh, pretty much the same problem, but we got a frictional uh, coefficient of friction of 0.2. I want to know what you think the acceleration is going to be and the tension force. All right, go ahead and pause and try and find it. All right, so we're back. So we're going to have um, 60 newtons down and 60 newtons up. And that's the normal force, so that means the force of friction is going to be 0.2 times the normal force. So that's 12 newtons. Okay, so um, I also have um, 60 newtons down. And i got some tension forces that if I look at the whole system, the tension forces disappear because they're internal forces. And so um, A equals the net force, it looks like it's going to be 60 newtons minus 12 newtons all over the total mass of 12 kilograms. So that's 48 newtons divided by 12 kilograms, so A is 4 meters per second squared. And um, this time let me use, uh, I'm going to tunnel vision on this guy to get the tension. It doesn't matter which one you, you tunnel vision on, <clears throat> though sometimes one is a little easier than the other. So um, I'm going to say A, for this guy right here, is 4 meters per second squared. That's equal to the net force on it, which is Ft minus 12 newtons, all over 6 kilograms. So that's 24 newtons is equal to Ft minus 12 newtons. So Ft looks like it's going to be 24 plus 12. Is that 36? I think that's 36 newtons. I knew that this Ft couldn't be bigger than 60 because if it were, that, then this thing wouldn't be accelerating downward. Okay, moving right along. How about something like this? Can you give me the acceleration and the tension in the wire for something like this? Okay, go ahead and pause. Okay, we're back. So here we have um, 70 newtons downward. A tension up. Um, 30 downward, 30 newtons downward, and a tension up. And um, so the two tensions, if I look at the whole system, it looks like the two tensions cancel, and I'm left with A is equal to 70 newtons minus 30 newtons. Those are fighting each other, those two forces, all over, and i got to use the entire mass. So that's going to be um, 4 meters per second squared. And then um, to get the tension, maybe I'll look at this one. It doesn't matter which one I look at, but I'll look at that one. So I'll say 4 meters per second squared. That's what it's accelerating at is equal to the 70s winning. So 70 newtons minus Ft all over 7 kilograms. So that's 28 newtons is equal to 70 newtons minus Ft. So Ft is, let's see, that's, is it 42 newtons? Okay, that's what the, the tension force is. I knew that the tension force had to be between 70 and 30 newtons. All right, um, we are going to split this up, I think, into more than into at least another part so because i'm already at nine minutes and 17 seconds so uh see you in the next video bye